Hey guys, so I wanted to do a little video on something that I've um, had experience with as an IT guy. And uh, one of the issues I had a long time ago <clears throat> when I was in telecommunications was converting binary. I didn't have any problems converting binary to decimal. My problem was converting to decimal, to hexadecimal, and octal, and binary, and back and forth. Uh, some of the processes were extremely long. I'm sure some of y'all might have tried it. And um, the issue I had was it was just taking too long. So uh, I ran across a friend of mine I was in the Navy with who gave me a um, way of doing it that I've never forgotten, and it's never failed me. Sorry, I'm a little hoarse. I'm kind of getting over a little infection right now. But um, I'm going to show you how I learned how to do it. And hopefully it will help anybody who's going to school learn how to convert decimal, octal, hexadecimal, and binary any way you want it. Now, the first thing you have to remember are some simple rules. The first rule is you always have to go to uh, binary first, no matter what you've got. That makes it so much easier, unless you're going from binary. But um, with that in mind, you already know, um, if you already have binary, this, will, uh, this process will make it very easy to go from, from uh, binary to anywhere else. So the first thing you want to do is you want to write out a chart um, using exponential numbers like 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, all the way up to the uh, either the number that's uh, the first number greater than the uh, greater than the uh, decimal number, or equal to your binary number. Um, and you should know that binary is base two. Hexadecimal is base 16. Octal is base 8. And, of course, decimal is base 10. And with binary, you have 1 and 0. Hexadecimal, you have 0 through 9, and then A through F. And then octal, you have 0 through 9. Oh, no, sorry, 0 through 8. No, 0 through 7, sorry. <laughs> 0 through 7. Let me correct that. Get rid of that. 0 through 7. And decimal, of course, 0 through 9. <clears throat> so first you have to have all those down. Uh, if you're past elementary school, you should know most of that. Uh, then there's some there's some simple rules. First is the chart I told you about, which I'll show you in a minute. And the next is binary. Knowing the base, there's only two numbers in it, so you know you're only dealing with two numbers, and each uh, each one is all by itself. Hexadecimal, even though it's base 16, it is in blocks of four. I'll explain that in a minute, but you got to remember hexadecimal is, block, is a block of four. Binary is a block of one. Each one's by itself. And then um, octal is a block of three. And how I explain that is, like for instance, binary all by itself, each one, you always count from right to left. One, two, four, eight, sixteen, thirty-two. So binary, each each binary number would take up only one of these spots. So they would de they would each be broken up by each by itself. Whereas you have octal, each one of these would be broken up, and these numbers would actually change. Then instead of eight, sixteen, thirty-two, it would reset back to one, two, four. Now if you add this up. You have this as a base 8, 0 through 7. You have 4, 5, 6, 7. 
zero doesn't count. And so, and then if you go back with hexadecimal, it's Bach of, of uh, four, then these would change to one, two, four, eight for the next box. That's just uh, it give you an idea ex explaining why each one is a block. And of course, when you have um, decimal, it just keeps going. Uh, each one adds to the next. I'll explain that in a minute. So let me clean this up real quick. And then show you. I mean, you can go back and look at any of this that's on here. I need to increase this eraser size to make this easier to clean up. So let's let's give you an example. Let's say that we have a decimal number of 50, let's see, 53,264. And like I said, you always go to binary first. So we start making our chart all the way up to a number that's higher than 53,264, which would be 64,000, but you start 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128, 256, 512, 1024, 2048, 4096, 8192 16 16 384 32 768 32 768 65 536 65 536 <coughs> So now we know the 65 536 is higher than 53 264 we don't need that anymore so we can actually get rid of that. So what we do first is we take 53, 264 and we minus 32, 768. And since that fits in there, we'll give it a one. So then 20,496. 20, 20,496. So, 16,384 fits into 2496, so we're going to minus 16,384. 4112. That equals 4112. Put a 1 there because it fits. 8192 doesn't fit into 4112, so it's a 0. 4096 does. That's a 1. So we minus 4096. That equals 16. So uh, 2048 doesn't fit in 16. 1024 doesn't fit in 16. 512, 256, 1000, or 128, 64, 32, 16 does. 16, that leaves us with zero, so the rest of these are zeros. So, that number right here is our binary equivalent for this number at the bottom is the binary equivalent of 53264. So we know what our decimal is, now we know what our binary is. The easy part now, get rid of that, get rid of that and that, is now, so I'll put up here, here's our decimal. Five, three, two, six, four. Our binary is one, one, zero, one, zero, 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 zero. One, that's finished. <laughs> I don't have enough room, zero, 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 zero. So that's our binary equivalent to that number. So now we want to figure out what's our hexadecimal and what's our octal. So like I said, hexadecimal, we want to go blocks of four. So hit this, hit this, hit that, and that. So there's our four blocks. Then we rewrite our numbers, one, two, four, eight. 
one, two, four, A, one, two, four, A, one, two, four, A. So now we need to figure out a hexadecimal. All we do is add add these numbers on each one. So here, of course, they're all zeros. Zero. This one is a one. This one is a zero. So we've got these are all zeros, so that's a zero. And on this last one, all you do is you count the ones. So we get eight, twelve, thirteen. And like we talked, like I said earlier, hexadecimal is zero to nine, and then A to F. A being ten, B being eleven, C being twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So here we have thirteen. So again, ten is A, B is 11 is B, 12 is C, 13 would be D. So this would be D. So our hexadecimal equivalent to 53264 would be D010. D010. So now that we've got that figured out, we can go ahead and we can wipe this. We have this here. Let me clean this up real quick. And by the way, I'll tell you what the app is I'm using. It's, I think it's called Paper. It's a pretty good app. And then we can clean these up. And now we want to go to Octo. And like I said before, Octo is base 8. So, since you have 1, 2, 4, that equals 7. You don't count to 0, that's 8. So, it would be every third one you'd put a line. So, let's uh, fix that one there. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. And then you'd change and do a new chart. 1, 2, 4. We already have that. 1, 2, 4. 1, 2, 4. 1, 2, 4. One, two, four, one. And now you do a new one. So this would be zero. This would be a two. Zero, zero, four, five, and a one. So you only do, you only count up with the ones. So our octal equivalent to that 53, 264 would be one, five, zero, zero, two, zero. And that's pretty much it. So now we have decimal, binary, hexadecimal, and octal. So now I'll show you how we can convert this same number, 53264. So let's go ahead and clean our screen up. 53264. That was our original number. Actually, no, let's... Let's, let's start with a whole new number. And we're going to go completely backwards. Let's try a binary number. Let's say we've got F3B1. Looks like it might be a pretty big number. So remember, each one is sets of fours. So we want to go 1, 2, 4, 8. Draw a line. 1, 2, 4, 8. Draw a line. 1, 2, 4, Eight, draw a line. One, two, four, eight. Because we have four numbers. One, two, three, four. We have four boxes. <clears throat> now, with this, you can go right on top and go one, two, four, eight, sixteen, thirty-two, sixty-four, one twenty-eight, two fifty-six, five twelve. 1,024, 2048, 4096, what is that, 8196, 16384, 32768. So now that we have all our numbers out, we can go to anywhere with this, but we got to go to binary first. So, 
we have our first number is a 1. So we'll put a 1 there and then zeros. Fill out the rest with zeros. Next number is a B. Remember, 0 through 9, A through F. So A is 10, B would be 11. So if this is 11, we'd have 8. And then the next number that would go in 8, that would leave us with 3. That would be 2 and 1, and then fill in with a 0. Next number is a 3. 1, 1, fill in with zeros. F would be 1, 1, 1, 1. So now that we have our binary, we can now take these numbers up top and add them together. So we have 32, 7, 68, 16, 3, 84, 80, 1, 92, 40, 96, 5, 12, 256, 128. You only want to add the ones, 32, 16, and 1. So if we add all that, let's just go with the calculator, it'd be a whole lot easier. So our this is our hex. So our we already know our binary is one 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 zero zero one 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 zero one one zero zero Zero, 01 our decimal is now 62385 and then we can also change this to octal if we wanted by just changing these lines to every 3 and then redoing our chart 1 and then this would be 1248 or 124 so this would be 6, 1, 2, 4, this would be 6, 1, 2, 4, this would be 1, 1, 2, 4, this would be 7, and that would be a 1. So our octal would be 1, 7, 1, 6, 6, 1. That's a 7. One seven one six six one. So remember, but remember, hexadecimal, binary, and octal are all single digits. Um, you never say them as like like decimal sixty two thousand three hundred eighty five. Octal is not one hundred seventy one thousand six hundred sixty one. It's one seven one six six one. Binary is ones and zeros, and hexadecimal is you say each number separately. They're separate numbers. That's why everything's that's why everything's broken up in its boxes. So like let's see let's try one more example. And this would be let's take an octal of 131. Pretty small one. So remember, we're going to separate these up into three boxes. One three and one so that would be one two four one two four one two four and so a one would just be a one and fill, fill in the zeros three would be one and two fill in the zeros and then one would be one you don't once you pass a lost number you don't need to add zeros up here <clears throat> there are no forward leading zeros in binary. So, our binary, we already know this is our octal. Our binary is now 10111001. So now we have that. We can convert that. Uh, if we take this away, whoops. We can go 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64. We don't need to go any higher because there's no more numbers. So then we just add the 1s. 64, 16, 8, 1. 
is 19. 89. So our decimal is 89. And then we can break that up into four. Mm, let me wipe that out. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And we can go one, two, four, eight. One, two, four, eight, one. Not even need that one. So we have this one has one, eight, that's nine. This one is four and five. And well, there's our hex. Five, nine. That's pretty much it. That pretty much, uh, explains how to do all this conversion. Just remember some very simple rules. One, you need to do that exponential chart. 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, all the way up to whatever number, all the way up to the last number that fits into the number you're calculating. Um, unless it's hexadecimal or octal. Now remember, decimal doesn't have any uh, breaks. It's, it just keeps going. Hexadecimal is every four. Octal is every three. And then of course binary keeps going too. Binary is just each one is itself. <clears throat> so you gotta, you gotta remember those um, those key those key rules are important that you break that up in hexadecimals every four. And the hexadecimal four is one, two, four, eight. The octal four, three is one, two, four. Binary, of course, is one and zero. And decimal is, is our little exponential chart that just keeps going as long as you need it. And this can go as high as you need to go. I mean, if you've got a you've got a number in the millions, you can break that down into decimal and then take it anywhere you want to go, hexadecimal or, or octal. If you have any questions, leave your questions uh, down in the comments section. I'll be glad to answer them. Um, I'm not a mathematical genius. Uh, I'm just a uh, IT guy. Uh, I was in telecommunications in the Navy as a Navy tech controller for 20 years and uh, did airborne communications and uh, was a NATOPS instructor and an airborne, super, airborne communications supervisor, and now I'm a network engineer. That process right there helped me throughout my entire career when it came to converting those base numbers between each other. So leave your comments in the box uh, and down in the comments section, and uh, subscribe. Thanks. Have a good one.